Yeah, well, I guess one of my New Year's resolutions this year is puffier hair. I can't think of a more apt resolution for the year 2012. I've been struggling trying to come up with something and trying to stay away from the old standbys. And I, I, I have to tell you, jealousy is a useless emotion, but I wish I had thought of puffier hair first. Well, Tom, my having puffier hair as a resolution does not preclude you from also having puffier hair. You know, a lot of people, they say, well, we're going to ring the new year. We're going we're gonna to lose some weight. Let's do it together. I agree with you, but I just... We're going to work out more. Let's do it together. Sure. We're going to eat healthier. Let's do it together. Tom, why can't 2012 be the year of puffier hair for you and I? I just feel that you... It's yours, you know, and, and you own it. And I would just be coasting on your on your coattails, and I just don't think it's right. You came up with it. More power to you. I'm jealous. I wish I'd thought of it. But I'm but standing on the shoulders thing. of giants here. Yeah, I came up with it. But there's so many people with puffy hair who came before me. Gene Wilder. Perfect example. Art Garfunkel. Great example. 1970s basketball teams. Yes. You know, you're right, Michael, but I just feel that, look, if you walk in and, and people just go, oh, magic, mm-hmm. whoa, can you get your head through the door? And then I walk in after you. I mean, it's almost like... A little look, bit of a letdown. Well, it's, it's a letdown, but what, I, what really worries me is if I walk in first and I get the adulation and all the interest and really it's undeserved and I don't oh, want that to happen. Oh, the letdown aspect to me wasn't about your hair. It Just was about me, you walking person, in. Yeah. Walk, yeah. So if you walk in first and like, oh, Tom's here and then I walk in, oh! Right. Yeah. But if I walk in with that hair, my hair looking uh, the way yours does right now, don't you think then I will get at least... A, a, a much measure, more measured, enthusiastic reception, and, yeah. and and if I do, and it becomes sort of this, hey Tom, mm-hmm. then when you walk in and say, hey Michael, it's less for you. Right. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, my New Year's resolution is to try and be selfless, for once. I'm just saying, in that in the year luck. 2012, <laughs> I want to try and be a little bit selfish. And if I start by not stealing your puffy hair idea, maybe I'm on my way. Maybe I'm on my way to something greater, Michael. If my puffy hair can serve as a bridge for you to get to your resolution, terrific. Because because ultimately, the puffy hair isn't about the puffy hair. It's about helping other people become the best possible versions of themselves that they can be. And for many people, that's really nothing. They can't get much better than they are. No, most people. There's a lot of self-help, but really, if we were to face it, you look in the mirror, that's it, Jack. Mm Mm-hmm. Look, at you're 42, mm-hmm. you know, you got, a, you got a little bit going on around the middle. You, you still look good, mm-hmm. but you're not going to improve. Mm-mm. You're not going back to 20. You're more, you're, you're much more headed toward the 60 right now. Oh, yeah. You got to embrace it. You think, you think suddenly you're going to change your spots? You're not going to change your no. spots. And that's just physically. I mean, and mentally, you, spiritually, you, everything sure, else. You're on your way down. Those, those arteries have hardened in terms of the, the things that you look at in the world. And you're not going to be able, though you may have the best of intentions, veer off and create something entirely new and exciting for yourself. No, you're not getting any better. No, no. You're entertaining thoughts of suicide. You think that's dumb. It's not so dumb. Yeah, at a certain, you know, you, you keep looking in the mirror and you keep saying, today do I kill myself? No. Today do I kill myself? No. Eventually, you're going to look in the mirror and go, maybe. 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 You know, Mike, I look in the mirror and I just think, man, if I had a shotgun, right. I would shoot you. Right, right. Right? Maybe, you know, get, you know, your wife's attractive. You know, I, I, you ever think about, I mean, we've talked about this. You know, I think a lot about murdering you and I guess one of the things that, um, holds me back is I just worry about the crime scene. I worry about the DNA. I worry about being an obvious suspect. And I, I worry about if I was trying to frame, say, your wife, you know, if there'd be some kind of slip up. And, and modern television is the kind of thing that prevents me from just going ahead and murdering you. Because I tell you, it would be a rolling scheme if I were to do it. I mean, it would just be a lollygag. It would be a... a it would be so much fun. I think if I were to at least pull it off, then the the trying to avoid the you know that you know I'm sure there's gonna come knock at my door. Some stiff jawed cop is gonna start talking. He knows, and I know he knows, and he knows that I know. And everything is a non sequitur. It's underpinnings. No one's coming out and saying it. Have a good day. Oh, I will have a good day. You should have a good day. You're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's that kind of. 
I mean, that game, Michael, would just be so enjoyable. I guess you're not going to do mates today. Can't. Mm-hmm. Why not? Michael's dead. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I have it. it is unfortunate, officer. It is really unfortunate. I'm just going to eat this leg of lamb now. That's not Michael's leg, is it? Ha <laughs> ha, officer. Go on, have a bite. Does it taste like Michael's leg? A little gamey. Well then. It's lamb. You and I have talked about uh, best ways to kill me. And remember for a while I was just fixated on you know having you stand up at the right moment in a convertible mm-hmm. and getting your head taken off by a low-hanging bridge. For some reason I just thought that would be awesome because I would have killed you, but it would be your fault. I could then act. I could you know work on my acting on at the scene. I could be so distraught. And you need to. Well, clearly. Yeah. I mean, listen. Let's not discount the fact that that would be a dangerous thing if I had to try and like act my way out mm-hmm. of trouble. But if you were to like have your head lopped off by a bridge, I don't think I would have to like rely on my existent or non-existent acting skills to get myself out of trouble. No, you look blameless. There would be eyewitnesses. He just stood up. And then that the little hanger bridge doesn't take it head clean off. Where are we when this happens? Are we? Well, when it happened, we're we're down there in the south down okay, there. Okay, got it. I don't want to. I, I don't want to take your head off somewhere around here. Right. You don't want to commit the murder close to home. Uh huh. You know? Don't Wha- shit where you eat. Well, no, but I, I also shouldn't do the murder close to home. That was going to be my next point. Don't also don't do the murder. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, don't shit with your. Well, what you eat, folks, is a great resolution. I mean, for some people who are like find, barely finding a way to like grab a handhold and what the resolution should be, you want a simple one. Look, don't Perfect. shit where you eat. Perfect. You know, there you go. You could also probably pull easily that off. achievable. Yeah, you could pull that off. 70 to 75 percent of the time oh yeah you know you're at dinner you're out to dinner you know you feel it coming on you remember the resolution boom it's a better year already for you yeah get get, get just say to the waiter uh waiter do you have a restroom right right over there sir oh thanks i'll go use the restroom i of- just uh, fulfilled my my resolution i'm not going to go over to the corner by the curtains and take a crap i'm going to the restroom yeah i'm not going to do it right here where i'm where i'm eating where i'm eating <laughs> yeah i'm not going to do it where i'm eating <laughs> You know, it's great. Sometimes people eat on the run. That's messy. Some people have the runs while they eat. Yeah, sure. 